I'd like to share with you the mother tone of all the tonal energy in Arthur Lessac's voice and speech work. It's called the Y buzz. The Y buzz is therapeutic. It warms the vocal tone. It brings vocal tone forward so we have a healthy voice and it carries across the room in a really intimate way without needing to push or shout. So how do we find the Y buzz? I like to start by feeling a hum on an N. And you can feel the tip of your tongue making contact with the upper gum ridge right behind the upper front teeth. And now we're going to play with a different consonant and explore how we can find a vibration of this consonant on that same location, the upper gum ridge. And we're going to play with a Y consonant. And you'll notice you're really feeling a Y, E, 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 a long E. So let that be your Y consonant, the Y plus the long E vowel. And feel it on different pitches. And then let it waft down. Find the pitch where the vibration can waft down along the length of your hard palate so that it stays in that pocket of that same place where you feel vibration of the N on the upper gum ridge. And once you find it, we're going to massage it by pulsing it on the same pitch. So I'm pointing out that I have what Arthur Lessac calls the reverse megaphone, a slight lift in the back of the mouth space with a forward movement of my lips and cheeks so that my voice has the room to move forward. I have a bit of radiancy in my eyes because I'm interested in what I'm feeling. I'm not making this a mechanical exercise, but I'm genuinely curious about how my voice moves. And I'm also in the lower third of my speaking voice, so I'm not exploring any singing tones here, and I'm also not way down deep in the basement of my voice because I would never really communicate there. So I'm in the lower third of my speaking voice, and I'm truly feeling the Y consonant married with the long E vowel. And I can feel the vibration wafting up into my sinus cavity, my nasal bone, all the way up into a ping on the forehead. So once I feel the Y buzz, I can massage it and explore a range of tone within that um, focused pocket of the upper gum ridge. So I'm going to do very gentle, intimate vocal slides going up and down to find where does the voice stay on that pocket at the upper gum ridge without moving back or covering more surface area on the hard palate. So I'm only doing a range that keeps that uh, forward moving. If I go too high, my voice goes way back into like the middle part of my hard palate and I'm no longer forward focused and I'm not in my speaking range either because I wouldn't talk up here. So keep it in that lower third of your speaking range and explore those slides, keeping it intimate, curious just for yourself on where that pocket is of the upper gum ridge area. And lastly, to develop the Y buzz, we'll feel it in some words like easy, easy breezy, 
reach for a peach, tea leaves, kingly, simply. So you can feel how the Y buzz appears in words that we say every day. So the more that you can find that connection to the Y buzz in your daily speech, the more that you can keep your awareness of a healthy voice moving forward so you can be articulate, clear, and healthy in your vocal life. And that's what the Y Buzz does for us.